decided to spend some time in nature before the snow came, and it was perfect. The leaves on the ground created a carpet of warm colors, but the winter air was chilled and quiet. As much as I missed the sounds of bustling nature, I was able to appreciate the stillness that is. every day, so I wanted this to be a space full of lovely things. These are all little pictures and paintings that I've accumulated over the years from friends, and I can't help but think about how loved I am whenever I see this corner. changing things around and bringing new things into my space. They're interesting to look at and can be inspiring, and they also change up the energy in my space. Simply using labradorite crystals and some fallen flowers from my bouquet, I made a little jar full of good energy that I love to keep near me. on a walk, I happened upon these hydrangeas that must have blown away from all the wind we've been having. Hydrangeas are one of my favorite flowers because throughout their entire life cycle, they are so unbelievably stunning. These flowers were perfectly preserved, and to me, they fit the theme of winter quite well.
received a package from my darling grandmother in California, who I haven't been able to see in quite some time. I was elated to find so many thoughtful gifts in one, including lemons fresh from her tree and some baby succulents. I know she watches my videos and I think she deserves a shout out. I love you, Nona. Thank you for making my day brighter. spending my morning with a cup of tea and a beautiful oracle deck. Reading cards in the morning gives me something to focus on during the day. Perhaps a goal, sometimes a realization. Either way, it keeps me in tune with myself. Plus I get to look at beautiful artwork first thing in the morning. I've been making an effort to be present within each moment. An easy way for me to do that is to honor nature's changes. In bulk is coming up, which means we are nearly halfway between winter and spring. It can be tempting to begin longing for warmer days, but I wanted to appreciate the moments before that. The days are a little longer, which is a beautiful thing. I was feeling inspired today to honor this current moment, all of it from the little signs of spring popping up every day to the falling snow and the chilly breeze. Sitting here wishing for spring is what keeps us from truly living in this moment. The sun rises early, which makes it a perfect time to put on a sweatshirt and start your day with morning yoga and meditation. The sun sets early, but that means in the evening, you can put on a hat and scarf and go outside and stargaze. Look at all of the winter constellations that you miss out on during the warmer months. 
There are so many beautiful parts of the present moment that we so easily miss, focusing too much on what's to come. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Damn it. Bless you. pocket for my new painting apron. Instead of seeing it as a chore, it's an opportunity to spend some time with myself and enjoy the quiet. It's extremely meditative, and at the end, I'll have a new pocket for my apron. Painting the pocket was also therapeutic. It's nice to take some time and make art for myself. I feel like I can enjoy the process much more. There's a lot less pressure when it's just for me, and I don't really mind if it's imperfect.
moments of pure joy are what make every day so magical, and I am forever grateful. Thank you.